I'm going to show you how you can change the header image. So this picture you see here behind the order online text is called the header image. I'm going to show you how to change that. So as you can see, this is the order online page. It has pictures of the items, pictures of the categories, and of course it has descriptions, the price, and all that stuff. But sometimes, from time to time, you may want to change this image. Um, it's not always the case, but sometimes um, a request comes through or somebody asks the question, how do I change this image? I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to show you how you can make this bigger too, the logo, if needed. So the first thing you want to do is you want to log into the back end of your order online page. You should have instructions on, on already how to do that. If not, you can uh, watch my other videos on how to log into the back end of the order online page. So let's go ahead and get started. So here is the back end of the order online page right here. This is the back end. As you can see, it has all these options here. So the first thing you want to do is obviously add your picture. So you want to go to the media folder and then add the picture, or you can add it uh, during the process. So I already added the picture that, that I want to use. So I'm going to get right to it. I'm going to go to pages here. Um, so right here, pages, and then press order online page. Sorry, pages, all pages, and then order online page right here. See how it says order online page? And uh, it's the front page. This is what merchants, or sorry, what customers first see when they go to your order online page. All you do from here is you press edit right here. See the edit button? Press it one time, and then it's going to start loading. Give it a few seconds to load, okay? And then now you'll see a lot of these uh, boxes and text here. It may sound confusing at first. But it's actually pretty simple, so just kind of follow my steps, <clears throat> so you can uh, so you can see how to do it. Okay, so if you look at it, you'll notice some words here. It says full width header. It says text, image, 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 and then it says text. Okay, so let's just try to correlate what the stuff means to the front end. Okay, so let's first take some best guesses what that means. Header image is this, and you can see it says image, 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 right? If you look, if you look, if you notice closely, image, 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 text, right? So basically, it's saying this text is uh, sorry, it's loading again. I think it went away. Yeah, this is this text, and that's image, image, image. So right above that text is the header image. We're going to change this one, but let me just show you uh, how I came to that realization, uh, so you can see what I mean by that. So when I click on text, you'll notice it'll say that text that I referenced earlier, and if I just give it a few seconds to load. And then if I scroll down here, it should be, let's see where it's at. Module URL, let's take a look here. Let's go into, give it a second for it to load here. I think my computer's a little slow right now. Let's see, okay. Let's take a look, yep, there you go right there, see it? DoorDash drive delivery is now available. Okay, so you can add text here as well. So in this case, we have the specific words which can be added here. Um, so for example, the branded app. This, by the way, we add this stuff for you, so you don't have to worry about it. You know, um, just let us know if you once you get a branded app with us, let us know so we can add it for you on your order online page. All right. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and change this image here. I'm going to go back here again. I'm going to close this box, and then I'm going to. Actually, let me press close here. My computer is a little slow right now, but it should close up. And then once it closes up, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on this uh, section here. So I'm going to leave this the way it is. I'm just going to change that background picture. Okay. And remember, if you want to change your category images or item images, there's another video for that. In this video, I'm only going to focus on this section here. Okay. So I'm going to go back here. It's the, it's the order online page again. Okay, and then I'm going to go to a full width header right here. Um, remember, not this one, this one. So do the one in the gray. I mean, the, yeah, this color here. And then once you do that, you'll notice it says order online, just like, just like how the text shows. And then scroll down, 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 down until you see this here. Okay, so now we have to figure out which one is it. Is it this one? Is it this one? Is it this one? Okay, let's take a look. Um, let's see. Because remember, uh, when you watch this video, uh, if you watch this video like six months later or a year later, it may be somewhere else. So, um, so just keep in mind that as I'm looking at it right now, it may not be the same. So it is this one right here. See it? See, we have the hamburger picture. 
All right, we're gonna click on it, right? And then we're gonna go to Media Library or you can upload the file. And I'm gonna add the image of my choice, which is this one here. And then press, see how it's a save and exit. Okay, remember the one step most merchants or people forget is to press update. So remember when you press save and exit, it's saving the exit, that part. But press update, okay? It's very important. If you don't press update, it's not gonna do it. Press update and then give it a few seconds for it to update. And then before you move anywhere else, go back to the order online page and refresh the page to make sure it changed. There you go, see how it changed? Now we know that it worked, okay? So that's how you do it. And then now the important step is to repeat that on the cart page as well. So cart and checkout. So what you do is you go back here again and you go to pages like last time and then you do the same steps uh, two more times on the cart and checkout page. Right cart right here. And then you go to full with header again right here. Right, because that picture is on all three in, on, on all three sections, right? The reason being is because you don't have to change it, but if you want it to be the same on all those uh, sections, you can. So just click on full with header again, and then give it a few seconds to load, and just repeat the process, and then you have your image that you like on there. Uh, again, this one is optional. You don't have to change it on, on all the pages, but if you want to, just repeat the steps. It's gonna be on cart, on, uh, on checkout, and also my orders if needed. All right, uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much.